Hey guys, welcome back to Lindsay Loves. I have a different kind of try on for you today. We are going to be trying on several different items from Maurice's and if that's a brand that I haven't tried on before. So I'm really excited to get into this and see if we can find some good things. Let's get started. I really like this first outfit. This is a wrap style top. It is attached right here so it's more of a faux wrap but it does come around here and you can tie it and the tie is adjustable. I've had to tie it pretty tight because I ordered a size medium which is my normal size um, but I think unless you are somebody that has um, a bigger chest size and you need that extra room, you might want to size down one. I don't feel like this looks crazy, but I think I have enough room that I could definitely size down one and be comfortable. This is that thin fleecy material and it's kind of a gray marled print and it does have ribbing at the cuffs. And I really like this because it's that sweatshirt kind of feel, so you feel like you're getting away with something. But because of the wrap style and bow, I feel like you could wear this to the office and it would also be cute. It'd also be just as cute lounging around on a Saturday. So I love this top. Um, if I exchange it for a different size, I will insert that into the video later and show you. But love this. I think this is so cute. Paired it with these dress pants from Reese's as well, and I got a size small in these. Weirdly enough, I feel like I could have gotten an extra small, which I normally would be a medium, so that's two sizes down for me. But they have an elastic panel right here, and it's a pretty thick waistband, so it can kind of suck you in a little bit. It has a button tab closure, and then it has these side slit pockets right here, and it has these faux pockets on the back. So, yeah, I have a little bit of room here that I'm not loving. They are more of an ankle length on me, but these are regulars, and they do come in shorts and talls, I believe. So, I think an extra small tall would have been perfect for me, um, but these are still cute. I feel like these are really nice, thick material. They're that ponty material um, that feel, you know, like you're wearing sweatpants, but you're dressed up. So, again, this whole outfit, I feel like I'm getting away with something I could wear this to church, I could wear it to an office. It's just a really dressed up kind of outfit, but you don't feel like you're uncomfortable at all. And then I just paired it with these coach loafers. I talked about these in a Friday Favorites. Absolutely love them, and I think they go well with so many outfits, but especially an outfit like this. So highly recommend both of these pieces. I would just adjust the sizing for what I need personally just updating you on this top so I did exchange it for a size small and that is what it looks like on me in a small um, I'm still tying it pretty tightly uh, not leaving a lot of room here I mean I'm tying it as pretty much as tight as I can and then just kind of adjusting this but I feel like it's a lot less billowy on the top I don't have a lot of things to work with on top so this is a good fit for me and then I also picked it up in the black so I'll show you that color real quick as well and here it is in the black and just wanted to show you here's another way you could tie it if you didn't want to do a big bow you could just tie it in a knot and leave the ends down and I think that's a cute look too but this is the size small again and I think there is nothing prettier than a black wrap top I think it is such a pretty piece such a versatile piece so I'm loving this one as well. It's the same soft material that the gray was. Um, so I feel like I will wear both of these a lot. I even like it with the black jeans, black everything look. So this is a stunning piece. Really comfortable and really simple, but I think it's very elegant. All I did on this was switch out the top. And this is a really cute one. I like this a lot. I think this is another top that you could do casual, you could do dressy. It is kind of this cheetah type print, animal print, and it's a really, really light color. I would say almost a nude rather than like a camel. And then the black, and it has these gathered sleeves that give it a little bit of a ruffle. I think that dresses it up a lot, and it's really cute. But it is just a really soft, silky t-shirt, so I think it's really nice for business. I think it's nice to wear with jeans. Um, it's about this long, so I like it tucked in, but you could also wear it untucked and it's not going to be too long um, that you can't wear it with just regular dress pants like this. This next top is just like the one I showed with the animal print, um, but I do want to layer a couple things over this, so I want to show it on its own quickly just so you can get a good look at it. 
um, because I do think it's a really pretty color. Like I said, it is the same style, so it has the scoop neck and it has the ruffled gather sleeves. Really like this light pink color. I think it's pretty. Um, I got a medium in these, by the way, and I feel like they fit great if you want like a little bit of a looser look. I tend to like that. Um, but if you want it to be a little bit more form-fitting, then I would say size down one. But either way, I think it's really cute. I think they're really comfy, like I said. Um, these jeans are just jeans that I got from my um, Express haul. I will link that if you haven't seen it. And then I paired it with these booties. These are from Maurice's as well. And they are a really deep burgundy kind of maroon color. And they have really pretty strap details on the back. Just a tiny bit of a cutout and then a really tall chunky heel um, probably too tall for me to be comfortable in but i think that they're absolutely darling so i wanted to show them i'll show them up close in a second but i think they look really cute with this outfit loving this tee again like i said so i will show you this with a couple things that i think would pair well with that okay real quickly here is a close-up of the booties so it's this really pretty maroon color and then you've got this braided detail, this gold with the studs, and I think it is just so interesting. The part right here is kind of like cut out like a little bit see-through, but not on the other side. And they have just this like really thin foam lining that's comfortable. I got my normal size 9 and they fit well. They'd also fit well with some really thin socks. So I really like these, recommend these for sure. This is the first way I wanted to show you this with the top underneath and I think this is such a cute piece. This is actually what inspired the Maurice's try on because I saw this, I saw it over and over in the ads that kind of follow you around Facebook and everything and I thought it was so cute. What makes it different, um, you have first of all a little bit longer length than a normal jean jacket. You have several, if I can see, several buttons on the cuff instead of just one. I think that's a really cute detail. It's a really stretchy, um, thin denim, so it's going to be really comfortable. But it is a denim trench, so if I had it buttoned, that tie really gives it some shape. And then you have pockets right here, and then you, of course, these pockets. And then it's just got a regular collar. That's what it looks like in the back. And I would probably pair this with darker jeans than what I have. Um, I think they're a little too similar, but I wanted to show the jacket because I think it's so cute. This is a medium. I think it is a little big for me. Um, I could get away with it if I were wearing like a thicker sweater, but I think for what I would wear it with, which would be more of a tee like this, I would probably want to go down to a small. Again, I'm thinking about ordering that, so if I do, I will show you. But let me just show you this buttoned and tied real quick so you can get an idea of what the shape really looks like. Okay, so this is how I would probably style it more. I think it's really cute. And like I said, once you have it belted and buttoned like this, the sizing doesn't really matter quite as much. I feel like I can totally get away with a medium like this, especially if I had a thicker top underneath. All right, so this is me on a different day, and I just wanted to update a couple things since I mentioned that I might be getting a different size or a different color in a couple things. I wanted to show you that I went ahead and exchanged some and what they look like. So this jacket I actually purchased in store, and it looks a lot like the first jacket I showed, but if you can tell, it's definitely a little bit lighter and it's a little bit more of an acid wash. And I really like the lighter color. I think it goes with um, any color of jean a lot better than the darker. I feel like that can be a little more tricky. So it's the same style, same cut. Everything is the same except the wash. But my mom actually saw this one first in the store and picked it up. And I realized that I like this one a lot better. So... I decided to go for this instead, and what's strange about this is I got the small, um, or wished that I had gotten the small in the other jacket, but in this, the medium fits me fine. So let me show you this tied real quick as well. I love how the belt kind of makes it have this flare. I scrunched up the sleeves a little bit so you have that button detail showing more. I really love that. And I just think this is a really good staple piece. It goes with a lot of things. I think you could pair this with some really cool corduroys um, or just some like black denim I think would be really cute. 
so probably wouldn't pair it with these, but I love this jacket. I think this is a really great buy, and you can get this on sale. Um, don't pay full price for this or probably any of this because they always have good sales. So um, I got this, I think, for $35, $30, 35 so I think that's a great deal for the jacket that you're getting because it's such a unique style. It's not your typical jean jacket, and I think it's just something extra special. So here, this lighter wash is styled, and again, it's harder to tell if you're not seeing them side by side in person, but I really like this color a lot more, and so this is the one I'm going to be keeping. Again, this one was the size medium, and this one did fit fine in the medium, so I really love this jacket. Like it even more than the other wash, but I think either way you can't go wrong. They're both really pretty jackets. One thing we did notice when I was trying on the new jacket is that the pockets do not open all the way. They look like they would be functional just like the other jacket, but they actually aren't. As you can see right there, they are sewn all the way shut, which is really bizarre. So what my mom did, she's modeling for me. She actually opened up this seam and now you have a completely functional pocket and all it did was take out that inner seam right there and it's just fine. So I'm not sure if that was an error on Maurice's part, but it's perfectly fine like that now and it didn't affect the outside look of the pocket. We just wanted to make a note of that. I kept this top on for the next thing that I wanted to pair it with and then we'll move on to some sweaters. Um, but first I have this cardigan, and this surprised me. This comes in two different colors, more of a purpley kind of design, and then they had this kind of reddish design. It's got a lot of different colors going through it, as you can see. Some bluish green, and some tan, and just a lot of different things happening here. So I really like this. I wasn't sure about it because it is a lot of color um, up close, but I like it. I really like the knit. I think it's a really pretty style with these kind of like cutouts and it's cuffed sleeves um, and then it's just an open cardigan. I think it's really pretty especially with this pink. I think it pairs well together. And then I have on this pair of Maurice's jeans. They just came out with their own brand of jeans. Um, they sell other jeans like Vervet and Silver and Flying Monkey, things like that. Um, but they just came out with their own and I wanted to try a pair. So these are a six, um, I believe a six regular, yes, six regular. Um, I had to cuff these twice in order to be able to wear them with these booties. So I would suggest definitely sizing down because these are loose on me and they are stretchy. So you definitely are going to want to accommodate for that. I would get at least one size smaller because I feel like they probably will stretch out a little bit. But they are really comfortable. It's a lighter wash. And like I said, they are just very long. If I'm 5'8 and cuffing them twice, they're extremely long. So I will show you what they look like um, completely uncuffed so you can get an idea. But I do like the jeans and really liking this cardigan. I just threw on my coach loafers. They don't go with this outfit, but I wanted to show you the length of these pants. So this is what we're talking. I mean, they're like touching the floor, which is great if that's what you want. But these are regulars, so I feel like a lot of people might be surprised by the length. So you might want to go with the shorts. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But if you need the extra length, then this is wonderful. Um, I did also want to say, <clears throat> I'm not usually a chunky booty fan. Um, it's hard for me to walk in them sometimes. And these are incredibly comfortable. This whole try on, when I'm wearing these, they feel like I'm wearing any kind of tennis shoe, normal shoe. It's just really comfy. So really like these booties. All right. On to some sweaters. Next couple sweaters are definitely going to be a love it or hate it type thing. <laughs> My husband saw some of the details, like these cuffs, and said, oh, the moths already got to it. So it is a, a distressed sweater. So if you're not into that, then you might not like this particular one. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it, to be honest, but I really, really like this color. It's this dusty, kind of deep purple. It's really, really pretty. I like the ribbing. I like the mock neck. Um, it has this shoulder cutout, which I thought was kind of cute and interesting. And it is distressed there. This is tricky with a bra. Um, I had to tuck it all the way up here. And unless, I don't know, it might be better with a strapless bra. 
Um, otherwise, you know, maybe a cute bralette or something like that. But otherwise, you're going to be showing. So, obviously, if you have longer hair, you can kind of work around that. This is a medium, and I'm wondering if I should have gotten a small. Um, I like the room here, but it's just a little baggy under the arms. And then it does have the distressing here on the bottom. So, it is... It is one of those looks where either you're going to really like it and think it's cute or you're going to say there's no way I'm buying a new sweater that looks like this. So I love this color. I'm unsure if I like the distressing, but um, I don't know. I thought it was interesting, so I wanted to show it. Everybody has different tastes. So yeah, I think I would get a small for this. And then I kept on the same Maurice's brand jeans, and then I just paired it with these leopard print. Um, these are the... Lucky Brand booties. I will link to them if I can find them. They've been around for a couple of years and really like them, especially with kind of a more simple, not patterned top like this. Uh, let me show you the next sweater and we'll see what we think about that one. We've got another distressed sweater, but I feel like this one is a little less obvious. I don't know if it's because it's the lighter color. It's this really pretty kind of peachy pink. Um, or if it's just because of the cut, it doesn't have that big shoulder cut out. Um, it just has the distressing along the neckline here and like the ribbing right there. And then the same thing on the cuffs, but I just, I don't know. It seems like a little less noticeable. And then we do have it along the hemline, but it almost looks like it's a pattern more than distressing. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't know. This one, I feel like if you're not super into this, the distressing, you could still wear this and not feel really uncomfortable. Whereas the other one, I think it's a lot more pronounced. So this is another really soft sweater. The last one was really soft too. Um, I'm feeling like the small probably would be more my style, but I don't mind the medium. Um, it gives you some room to tuck in. And, you know, it's not huge. It's just a little oversized. I changed into these Vervet's pair of jeans. And these are a mom jean. So they fit me fine around the waist. Um, I got a 28. They are a little bit baggy here, but mom jeans can be like that sometimes. They do have distressing at the knees and just little tiny parts here and there. Um, and then they are cuffed. I don't know if you can uncuff them. You can uncuff them. So let's see what they look like uncuffed just for the sake of it. So yeah, so they're still going to be a little bit cropped, but not a whole lot. So you could wear them full length. Um, they are really baggy though in this area. And so I don't know if I would size down or if the mom jean in this particular style just isn't for me. Uh, I do like the color and I do like the distressing and I think it looks really cute with the peach on top that's kind of light and springy. But then you have the maroon booties that kind of make it fall appropriate. So I do like that. Um, but I think I would either size down one on the jean or maybe pass on these. These don't feel like better quality than the Maurice's and the Maurice's were a lot cheaper. So that is one thing to consider. Um, but I do like the sweater a lot really cute and I of course love the booties all right let's go on to the next top really love this next top enough that I want to go back and order it in the cream color they had a cream that I think would pair with anything so this color is a lot brighter than how it appeared on the website and it's scaring me a little bit but I really like the style of this tee so it is a rib tee and it has these kind of little puff sleeves they call it a lantern tee and then it has like the balloon kind of end there and it's so pretty I like all those details I like the slightly rounded hem and I just think it's cute but it is much much brighter it's a bright like fuchsia pink and it has like kind of these dark black kind of speckles so it looks a lot different than the website, um, and I probably wouldn't have ordered it if I knew that this is the color that it came in. But like I said, the cream I think would be gorgeous. So kept on the same mom jeans, same booties, but love this top. It is a really thin top. It is a little bit fleecy like that gray one, um, but not quite as fleecy. Uh, it's still going to keep you warm and cozy, but this is a lighter top and I think I would layer a cardigan over it um, when you're going into the winter, but it is really cute. I like the style of it a lot.
different day again, but I wanted to update you on this top. I told you that the fuchsia color was not my taste, so I did go ahead and exchange it for the cream, and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it is a little bit see-through, a little more than I would like, but I really like the top, so it's going to be one of those where I'm just going to have to wear a tank under it, um, even with the nude bra. I'm not happy with how this is looking, so it's just going to be wearing an undershirt underneath, but I love the style of the top and I like it in the cream a lot more. So I just wanted to show you what that looked like. For our final look, I have this cardigan. This is the same fleecy fabric that our wrap top was in the beginning. And I'll be honest, I got this cardigan just because of the shape. It reminds me so much of the Barefoot Dream Circle cardigan. I think it's a really flattering style. I just love that cut. Um, so it is just that soft, thin, fleecy material, but it is going to keep you warm. It's a nice layering piece, and I thought it looked really cute. Um, put that pink tee back on, and I think it looks sweet with that. Um, it's got the pink and then kind of a gray speckly print, and big cuffs. I got a size small in this, and it fits me perfectly, so I think the moral of the story with Maurice is, at least in my experience, is that you probably want to size down one for most things. I feel like most of the things that I tried on, I got my normal size medium or size six, um, and that's what I will put down in the description. But I do want to mention that I feel sizing down one is probably a safer way to go. Um, I like the sizing of this cardigan a lot, and it is a size small, so I think it fits a lot better. I think the medium probably would have overwhelmed me. So I really like this, and I would definitely recommend the cardigan. I think it's a versatile piece, too. You could pair it with those Ponte dress pants, and it would look really cute, but obviously wearing it with an outfit like this with the jeans and the booties, I think it looks really nice. So recommend this one. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this try-on haul. I hope you like these pieces from Maurice's. And I just hope that you like something different. I feel like we sometimes see some of the same brands over and over. And while I love some of those brands and I shop at those places a lot, I kind of wanted to give some love to maybe a little smaller shop. Um, it's something that I don't think people have everywhere in store, but obviously everyone can shop it online. Um, and I think some of these pieces were really cute. It felt more like shopping a boutique than a really large like big box store. So I really appreciate that they have kind of a different selection and different style than some of the other places. If you like this video, then please click that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I do try on hauls as well as beauty and makeup and lifestyle videos. Lots of purse reviews, probably too many if you ask my husband. And I would love to have you here on the channel. I will see you again in the next one and have a great week. Mm -hmm.